let's take a look at the solution for our practice problem. We'll begin by looking at the IP address that we were assigned for our network, which is 195.212.177.0. And then look here that we need seven subnets for our network. In order to determine how many bits we need, we'll see how many bits can get us at least seven subnets. So we go down here to this chart, and we look. If we borrow one bit, we get zero. Two, we get two. If we borrow three bits, we only get six. It's close, but we still don't have enough. If we borrow four, we have 14 usable subnets. This is extra, but this is the minimum number of bits we're going to need to borrow in order to get the seven subnets. So how many bits are we going to borrow? Four. We'll scroll down here to take this and use it to determine our subnet mass. Our IP address is in the class C range. Therefore, our default subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0. We're going to customize this by putting something in the last range. In order to do so, we look at our values of what these bits are actually worth. We line them up, and we say this, 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 and this are all going to have to be viewed as ones in our subnet mask for the computers to be able to determine the difference between subnets and computers. So if these are all ones, these values come down here, 128, 64, 32, and then 16. If we add these numbers up, they equal a value of 240. So we put that with our default subnet mask to make our custom subnet mask of 255.255.255.240. The next step we need to go through is to specify our subnets, our ranges, and our broadcast addresses. Since the last value we went up by was 16, we borrowed four bits here. This is the very last bit that we borrowed. Our subnets are going to go up by 16. Now, we start at a 16. The 16 number is lost for assignment to a computer because this is the actual network address. Our ranges, first computer could be 17, next could be 30. Broadcast is going to be 31 because it's going to be all ones in the host area. Next subnet, 32 is assigned to the subnetwork itself. These are free to be assigned to computers. And this is the broadcast address. Let me point something out. Typically, your first couple numbers you set aside for the router or the default gateway address. We scroll down here, and we'll see that everything goes up by 16 as far as our subnet addresses. If we remember that this address is assigned to the subnetwork itself, Typically, this first number here, the 209, will go to a router, but this here is a range of addresses from here to here that can be assigned to computers on that subnetwork. This can't be assigned because it's going to be the broadcast address.